The All Blacks will take on Ireland in this weekend's Rugby World Cup quarterfinals after Japan beat Scotland last night to qualify top of Pool A and set up a showdown with South Africa. England plays Australia and Wales faces France in the other knockout games. Rugby reporter Joe Porter is in Tokyo and witnessed the Brave Blossoms make history. After an intense lead-up to the final pool match and the devastation of Typhoon Hajibis, one Brave Blossoms fan was brought to tears and hugged by an English supporter as his team beat Scotland to reach the World Cup quarter-finals for the very first time. <laughs> they were tears of joy, of course, and while Tomashi's English was limited, it was clear what the win meant to him. <laughs> you're so happy, you're crying. Well, I'm happy. <laughs> Japan will now face South Africa in the quarterfinals, ending Scotland's chances of advancing. But tartan clad supporter Calvin wasn't mad, and the Brave Blossoms now have one more fan in their corner. It's a shame for Scotland. Oh. Yeah. Right on the Japan, wish them all the best. What atmosphere. I mean, I saw my top of Japan top like, Seriously, <laughs> Japan all the way. Plenty of English supporters were on hand to witness Japan's famous victory and their team will play Australia on Saturday for a place in the final four. Their fans, including the cousin of England lock George Cruz, are so confident they're already thinking about an England All Blacks semi-final. And what about the uh, All Blacks England semi-final then? Uh, I think that, that might be the final pretty much. I think who wins that? Wins the tournament. What about the semi-final then? How are you feeling about that? I don't want to say. <laughs> Two teams with the most strength in depth in the whole tournament, but obviously England are going to win it. England's second row is looking particularly strong this yeah. year. Shout um, out to George Cruz. Small shout out to George shout Cruz. <laughs> Big G! Though the Wallabies coach Michael Checker believes the pressure is all on their Northern Hemisphere rivals. England are coached by fellow Australian Eddie Jones, who suggested after their final pool match was cancelled because of the typhoon, that the extra time off would help them. Checker isn't so sure. He was saying that that would be an advantage and that the Typhoon gods were smiling on him. So, yeah, I suppose they, they better win. They've had the best preparation, according to the coach, so they better go out there and win. If that's the best possible preparation, we'll see how we go. The All Blacks will face Ireland as they continue their quest for an unprecedented third straight World Cup crown. And coach Steve Hansen says playing a team they've lost to twice in recent years will keep them focused. They're a quality side. They've been number one this year. I think our last three results are loss, win, loss, so there won't be any complacency in our camp. So it's pretty exciting. We're right where we want to be. And Hansen is quite happy to avoid host Japan in the quarters, who he says are playing a beautiful brand of rugby. Yeah, well, it's a good way to play footy, isn't it? I mean, it's worked against Ireland, it's now worked against Scotland and Samoa, so people have said, you know, who do you want to play? Well, they're the informed team, so you know, I'm quite happy they're on the other side of the draw. Today happens to be a traditional Japanese public holiday for health and sport, held every October since the 1964 Tokyo Olympics. It's perfectly timed after last night's victory, with these fans still in delirium. The chants will only get louder if Japan can make more history and reach the final four. In Tokyo, Motihotaka o te ahipo nei, ko Joe Porteraho.